A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this particular session. In this session, I would be talking about forgiveness and acknowledgement because both are much uh, required. But for this, I am picking on the energies of certain people uh, who are in this journey and I can sense some of you people, some energies I can pick and I will directly speak to those people. First of all, you are really thinking about what is this whole forgiveness thing and how does it actually work? Because many a times you do not want to forgive the people who have hurt you. Like it's very difficult for you to forgive them. And I totally validate this feeling. I totally acknowledge and understand this feeling. And I know this is also a very valid and real feeling, okay? Because it's not easy to be in your situation. It's not easy to go through what you have gone through, what you have been going through already. And it's, it's never like acceptable, a lot of things. However, the reason why I'm speaking about this is because all the people who you don't want to forgive are those people who have not given you acknowledgement. And acknowledgement could be for anything. It could be for your existence. It could be simple conversations. Say you are having a conversation with someone and every time you say something, the one that you're dating, let's pick up someone who's, who's your lover or partner and then we'll pick up someone from the family, okay? Say for example, you're dating someone who always in every statement you say has to cut you short or has to interrupt you or has to get irritated with you or has to argue with you. Like if you say the sun rises from the east, which is a very according to you and according to whatever data you have, whatever scientific knowledge you have and maybe your experience also, you know that the sun rises from east. So you tell this person that the sun rises from east every day and this person starts arguing with you like no, it doesn't. Maybe for you, it rises from the east, but maybe for someone else, it doesn't. And you're like shocked. You're like, excuse me, this is the most authentic information. And if you really want to know the truth, why don't you wake up with me tomorrow morning and we will watch it. And this is just an example, guys, just to make you understand. Now, this person is not in the energy, not in the frame of mind or not in that scenario situation where they can wake up in the morning. Okay. For example, they have an issue waking up in the morning. So they say, I cannot wake up in the morning. I can only wake up at 12 noon. But whatever you are saying is not 100% truth and there is no proof of it. Now, this is a totally unnecessary argument that they are having with you. And you are basically entangled with this person because you love that person and you want them to validate your experience or your wisdom or your knowledge or simply you being aware about the truth. Now, let's move to someone else say you have someone in your family say your mother or your father and you really love your parents obviously everyone every child loves their parents they look up to them and you go up to your parent and you tell them that apple is red and they tell you hey i'm not interested to hear all this i have better things to do and you feel that they're not listening to you so both the cases are cases of either not validating unnecessary argument, cutting a person short, creating a storm out of nothing. And the other is a person not showing any interest at all or just on the contrary telling you that whatever you're telling them is absolutely boring, disinteresting and they have nothing to do with it. So why am I giving you these two examples is because one is coming from your childhood and one is happening in your adulthood. Okay. And both of them are connected. So because obviously you did not get the attention, acknowledgement and the validation in childhood from either of your parents or maybe both, you actually developed an energy where you are not getting acknowledgement. In simple words, you are not being heard. Okay. And when you grow up and you form adult relationships, you are going to attract people who are going to mirror the same emotion in you. So obviously, whosoever is doing whatever with you, as I said in the very beginning, it may not be acceptable and I validate your feelings. But now you have to go one step further. You have to like move on from this situation. 
you don't have to continue to be in the situation otherwise you'll never really go into the deep you will keep swimming in the shallow waters or you will keep staying away from other interesting things that you can do in the deep like go deep diving or just an example again you know like when you go swimming you can experience a lot of things like treading in the water swimming in the water playing in the water doing different type of stunts all those things are possible only when you start getting into the deep and you develop a uh, love and you release the fear for the deep but most people are not able to go into the deep emotionally also because they have so much fear it is just a uh, fear actually because there are so many other people who are also doing it and some are really excelling at it and for some people it's really not a thing because in their childhood maybe they had experiences where going into the deep water was very normal why because someone was supervising to do so them to do so however in your experience that did not happen maybe your parents did not really care about teaching you how to swim into the deep or helping you out with certain things they were so busy and so consumed in their own lives in their own things that they never really had the time or they never really wanted to do it they they felt that they have better things to do than to teach their child how to swim in the deep so now maybe you understand some of you understand what i'm talking about now coming to the energy that i'm picking on i can sense the energy of someone who is like child a pure child child like energy is very strong i sense a person who feels ignored who feels unloved i also sense a person who's very honest i sense a person who's very responsible i sense a person who's got healing energies i sense someone who is not wanting anything materialistic but just pure love i can also sense a person who is a seeker who's looking for something who's looking for something because they feel that whatever they have known so far is not enough it's not enough they need to know more they need to go deeper and i also sense them feeling unloved unacknowledged ignored and treated very badly so while they have all these curiosity based energies all these fiery energies all these loving energies because they are in the childlike energy so they are obviously loving and curious but because some distorted person did not give them the love and the attention they deserved they have also developed certain certain parts in their dna which are corrupted okay the corrupt dna this corrupted dna is not allowing them to freely express who they are or to even freely experience the life that they have been given endowed with to fully experience now they can either do two things either they can go on feeling bad about it or they can release themselves and become a free sovereign being and that can only happen by forgiving those people because those people don't know any better if they knew what is the joy in raising a healthy child if they had ever taken it like a mission like a big responsibility for the upcoming generations for the planet look at goddess sita's story sita's biggest mission was to raise the children and make them into the best kings crown prince possible and she did that and when they were at the right age to be with their father she left the planet she was so detached she was so detached she's not like the parents that we see around you know that these kids are going to take care of me in my old age and these kids are going to be my caretakers and this and that she taught the children so well she even taught the children that never accept any presence from anyone why because she made the children so strong that they can create they are so abundant they can create whatever they want so they don't need to take anything materialistic any presents any offerings nothing from other people she's really the best one of the best divine mothers okay and she ensured that she was around the children for the time frame that the children the boys really would need her and she made them independent she made them confident she took them to the best master to the best guru and and she was so selfless okay so we can learn from sita's life how to be the best divine mother 
how to be the best divine feminine who is going to take the role of the best divine mother now same happens with lord shri ram now i'm just giving these examples everything here all the examples i'm giving you is just to make you understand things better because all of you are actually looking for that love that nurturing that providership someone who can discipline you someone who can love you someone who can be there for you someone who's also a good friend of yours we this generation or the people who are in the dark ages or who come from the dark ages or who have certain shrouds of the dark ages they do not get this type of love they do not get this type of acknowledgement and because they don't get it they keep attracting people who show them the same problem over and over again and they need to get out of this loop they need to break this loop asap so you need to forgive these people for who they are because they don't know any better if they know so much then they would not be doing it because they are missing out on great love they are missing out on great opportunities they are missing out on great joy because they are so into narcissistic energies they are so selfish they can never see how much beautiful it is to raise a child or to create uh, some kind of contribution to be of help to the planet to return in the best possible way to be selfless is such a joy the high vibration that you can experience because of selflessness is just beyond any treasure any worldly treasure so they don't know it because they don't know how to receive it and they never receive it actually so that's also sad for them so instead of focusing on their negativity and pulling your frequency down you need to actually work on your own ecosystem and you need to detach from these people so somebody had written to me that i want to detach and move on from these people but i cannot forgive them so if you are not going to forgive them you cannot detach from them detachment happens naturally when you forgive people okay it's a by product it's a result otherwise you'll keep feeling bad and you'll keep going through this pain and this suffering and you'll keep meeting people who are going to reflect you or the or they're going to mirror the same thing back to you so this is where i'm going to close this particular channeling session thank you so much for being here with me i will see you soon in another one one love peace out and jai shri ram